Life goes on, and so do we. Just how we do it is no mystery. One by one, we fill the days. We find a thousand different ways. Sometimes the answer can be hard to find. That's something I will never be. I'm always here for anything that you need. Rain or shine, I'll be the one to share it all as life goes on. We share it all as life goes on. an emergency little Jenny had a terrible fall. Well, come on, we ought to get her in here. Not necessary. She put peroxide and a Band-Aid on her knee. Everything's all right. Well, that's good. Not really. <laughs> she called back again. She thinks Jenny may have drunk some of that peroxide. Well, that's very serious. Come on, we'll rush her in here. Well, no need to. Turns out it was lemonade. Everything will be fine. <laughs> Laverne, why are you telling me all this? I want you to know the kind of emotional roller coaster I ride every day. <laughs> Help you understand the genesis of my mild sarcasm. Thank you for sharing that. Laverne, please, who's next? Room one, sore throat, insisted on coming in without an appointment. Well, Laverne, we never turn away a sick child. <laughs> hey, Harry. Charlie, what are you doing with my donkey and horse? Making mules, I think. Try to give me that. Come over here. All right, come on, Charlie. What is this about a, what a sore throat? Well, I've had this pain for a while. It's getting worse. So naturally, I thought I'd come see my old friend, Harry Weston, or as I like to call him, Dr. Gratis. Charlie, I send you a bill every time you come in here. Yeah, and I pass it along to my accountant, Mr. Big Fat Trash Man. Charlie, could you limit your comments to, ah, Ah. Uh, okay. Ah. 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 Oh, boy. Charlie, your tonsils are pretty inflamed. Thank you. No, no, Charlie, that means you need a tonsillectomy. What? Charlie, there's nothing to worry about. I know an excellent ENT man. What's that? It's a doctor who only treats ears, noses, and throats. I don't want some quack who was too lazy to study the whole body. Oh. I need somebody I can trust. I need you. Charlie, I haven't done a tonsillectomy in 25 years. Oh, come on, Harry, please. I never had an operation before, and I'm scared. Charlie, come on, it's routine surgery. Can you absolutely, positively guarantee me I won't die? <laughs> well, I mean, no doctor can do that. Oh, thanks for the pep talk. All right, Charlie, all right, wait, I'll tell you what I'll do. I will arrange it that I can be with you during surgery, and I'll make sure nothing goes wrong. Thanks, Harry. Yeah, all right. I'll send you your bill, Mr. Davis. <laughs> yeah, and I'll give it to my accountant. <laughs> I guess that bungles the clown won't be squirting his seltzer at us anymore. Oh, hi, Mr. Patrick. <laughs> I hate Mr. Patrick. <laughs> Look, girls, it's Mr. Patrick from next door. We have another visit from you in a very long while. Well, maybe that has something to do with the fact that you Westons are... What? How can I put this? The worst neighbors a man could hope to have. <laughs> It's not enough, Weston, that your sprinkler gets my car wet after I wash it, or your nectarines fall on my pansies, or your friend's motorcycles roar off in the middle of the night. <sighs> <laughs> this time you've gone too far. But Mr. Patrick, take it easy now. Whatever's the problem here, I'm sure we can clear it up. I'm going to be a grandfather, and it's all your fault. <laughs> Mr. Patrick, what are you talking about? I'm talking about him. You. You ruined my baby. What? Heidi, my golden retriever, your dog is 
had his way with her. <laughs> She's pregnant. Well, what makes you think it was Dreyfus? I mean, look at him. He doesn't even move. I said he debauched my dog. I didn't say he was a great lover. All I know is my Heidi is two months pregnant. Well, it wasn't Dreyfus. He's very well behaved. And besides, everyone knows your Heidi's a slut. <laughs> struts around in that rhinestone collar? <laughs> she might as well be wearing nothing. Well, I can certainly see where your dog gets it from. <laughs> Mr. Patrick, I'm gonna turn on my sprinklers now. <laughs> you saw me turtle waxing all day, didn't you? All right, I'm leaving, but I know what you did. You know what you did. God knows what you did. <laughs> Mr. Dietz, I'm your ward nurse. All right. <laughs> I'm sorry you were put in the pediatrics ward. It seems that when admittance heard you were Dr. Weston's patient, they assumed you were a child. Well, I could use some mothering. As I was saying, we'd like to move you to another floor, but all the beds are filled. Mine's only half filled. Mr. Dietz, don't make me shave you unnecessarily. She wants me bad. 20 questions. Go ahead, Charlie. You start. Do you remember the rules? Sure. I get 20 questions. Let's see. Is it a person? Yes. All right. <laughs> Is he living? Yes. Okay. I got 18 left, right? Yeah. Oh, I just used one. That only leaves me 17, huh? Yeah. Oh, I just did it again. Didn't I? Yes. Oh, darn. <laughs> okay, boys. Visiting hours. Yeah, I forgot all about visiting hours. Uh, anybody here for me? Sorry. Don't mind me, guys. Hey, hey, hey. Your pre-op tests are fine. Are you Charlie's father? No, 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 no. Don't be silly. I'm his pediatrician. <laughs> What's the matter with your parents? Why didn't they come? Hey, I'm a grown-up. But if I wanted, they'd be here in a second. It's just that they're far away. They're in the South. Charlie, this is the South. <laughs> Pole. South Pole. That's where they are, the South Pole. I'd call them, but there's a lot of trouble with the phone system there, you know. South Pole Bell. <laughs> oh, well. Okay, Charlie, listen. I gotta get going. Oh, Perry, don't go. Charlie, I've got other patients to see. Oh, I just, I'd like to chat for a minute. Okay, come on, but just for a minute. Right. Tell me a story. <laughs> Once upon a time, there was a pediatrician who had one patient who monopolized all his time, and he couldn't see his other patients, and he lost his license. Then what? <laughs> <laughs> doing dawdling up here. The waiting room's backed up already. All right, all right. Charlie, um, I'm sorry to have to put an end to whatever the hell this just was, but I gotta go. Uh, Laverne, wait. What is it? You know, Laverne, we never really had the chance to chat, to get to know each other. Uh-huh. <laughs> so, hail from Dixie, eh? Uh-huh. I hear that old times there are not forgotten. <laughs> And I'm gonna look away now. And after your operation, Norman, we'll have a big coming home party for you, okay? And, and you can invite all your new friends. Hey, I can't wait. <laughs> no, I'm sorry, but I was speaking about the children. Oh, Mom, Charlie's cool. He taught me how to undress women with my eyes. <laughs> Here. Looks a good when you're alone. 
Dr. Burroughs. Please call 125 West, Dr. Burroughs. Hi, Ma? It's Charlie. Hey, I'm in the hospital for some surgery and... Yeah, I'll hold. Hey, Harry, you're right on time. Hey, look, everybody, visitor for the Deedster. <laughs> ah, I'm so glad you made it, Harry. I've been dying to hear the end of that doctor loses his license story. Charlie, never mind that. I got two people who really want to see you. You come on? <laughs> Charlie! Good news. I checked out your surgeon. He has no priors. <laughs> Good evening, Charlie. Good luck on your operation tomorrow. Hope you don't die. Oh. What? You told me to say something nice. As it was, I lied. <laughs> Mr. Deeds. Yes? Your parents are on the way up. Really? Oh, so they made it after all. I never doubted it. Oh, oh I am really looking forward to meeting them. I wonder what they're like. Look at what they did. <laughs> Hey, Dad! I'm shocked they're not dragging their knuckles across the floor. <laughs> How's my baby? <laughs> How are you, son? Hey, I'm great. <laughs> Mom, Dad, these are my very good friends, the Westons. Harry, Barbara, Carol, these are my folks, Fred and Ursula Dietz. It's oh. so nice to finally uh, meet Charlie you. Charlie told us a lot about you and your whole family. Don't worry, it wasn't all bad. <laughs> Dad? <laughs> Anyway, Harry, I got to tell you what a treat it was that we finally... Oh, my. She wants me bad. Dad. <laughs> huh? Well, I hope you're happy. <laughs> Mr. Patrick, will you leave Dreyfus alone, please? Leave him alone? Like he left my Heidi alone? Thanks to him, there are now three new puppies in my house. Aww. <laughs> sure, you can awe. You weren't up all night witnessing the miracle of birth. Aww. It's not awe, it's yuck. <laughs> I demand an apology, and that you pay all the veterinary costs, or I'm going to take you to court. Hey, you're wasting your time. You have no proof. As a matter of fact, I do. That's why I'm here. After I left the other day, I compiled a list of all the possible suspects and their alibis. <laughs> Rover Benson, in a kennel. <laughs> Fluffy Shapiro, homesick. As usual. Francois Smith, the poodle down the block? <laughs> Please. We all know he's a little light in the leash. <laughs> Mr. Patrick, this is all very interesting, but it still doesn't prove that Dreyfus is involved. Exhibit B. A strand of your dog's hair found on my patio. Proof positive your dog was, in fact, in my backyard. A single strand of hair, sir. <laughs> This is your smoking gun? <laughs> I submit to you, sir, that what you have here is nothing more than circumstantial evidence. Point one, the alleged hair could have been planted there. Point two, the wind could have blown it into your yard. Point three... This isn't Dreyfus's hair. This isn't Dreyfus's hair? This is not his hair. You heard my surprise witness. The defense rests. <laughs> Mr. Patrick, I think an apology is an order. Instances. I have never seen a match this close. Oh, Barbara, stop that. That isn't my... Oh, my God, I'm losing my hair. Let me give you some advice, Weston. I suggest this one get therapy. <laughs> and that one get neutered. Neuter Dreyfus? Yeah, and how about that therapy thing, huh, Daddy? 
<laughs> well... <laughs> <laughs> oh, I'm sorry, your stuff cracks me up. Uh, are you reading the comics? Or? No, that William Sapphire. Woo, he's a caution. <laughs> well, Laverne, have you cleared the calendar for Charlie's operation? What are you saying? That I'm standing here reading the paper shirking my duties? <laughs> Not fulfilling my job description? Well, I quit. <laughs> Laverne, I wasn't suggesting... Okay, stop your groveling. I'll stay. <laughs> Welcome back. Hey, look here. Here's an ad for that cruise ship your neighbor works on. You think he could get me a deal? Oh, I'm sure if he asked Charlie, he would... Wait a minute, look at this ad. And look at that picture of those people. I think I know them. Well, it says here they're in the ship's dinner theater show, Fiddler on the Roof. Why, you've probably seen them on TV or something. No, 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 no. You take the beard off Tevye and the babushka off Golda... And they're Charlie's parents. Charlie's parents are actors on his ship. No, no, no. They're, they're not his real parents. They're Myra and Murray Adler, stars of the saltwater plants. Why would Charlie do something like that? Why would he hire actors to play his parents? Maybe his real parents couldn't remember their lines. I'm going to check this out. Is it, Laverne, uh, will you watch things here, please? What's the implication? That I wouldn't normally? The wild cat's away, the mouse will play? Well, I quit. <laughs> All right, I'll stay. <laughs> Dr. Hines, outside call. Charlie, I want to talk to you about your parents. Oh, they really appreciate you having them over for dinner last night. Well, uh, I'd like to talk to you about You know, I bet for a while there, you and all the guys thought, well, nobody really cared about me. Oh, uh, Charlie, that's what uh, you were thinking, huh? Well, yeah. But then my parents came. So you see, when the chips are down, I'm, I'm not all alone. So what do you want to talk about? Just that your folks are great and they really sure do love you a lot. Uh, it's time, huh? Here you go, come on. Oh, hold it, guys. Can I have a second alone with the sawbones? Right. Come on, Charlie, what is it? I want to go into surgery with a clear conscience. There's some stuff I need to get off my chest. All right, fine. Well, just hit the highlights, okay? We only have the operating room for one hour. Right. Okay, well, then we'll skip all that stuff about your anti-lock brake system. Okay. Okay. <laughs> Here's the big thing, Harry. Those people you met weren't my parents. They're actors. I hired them. Oh, Charlie, that's nothing to be embarrassed about. I mean, people are always hiring actors to play their turn. And so... <laughs> Oh, okay, no one ever does that, but at least, you know, give yourself credit for originality. Oh. I called my real parents, but uh, they couldn't get away. Couldn't get away. Big shock, like they've ever been there for me. Oh, Charles, come on, I'm sorry. I thought I was pretty much used to it until I got here to the hospital and saw all the kids with their parents. Doesn't feel so hot when nobody's there for you. Charlie, come on. You don't have to hire people to, to, to be your friends. Come on, you've got me, you've got Barbara, you've got... <laughs> you've got me, you've got Barbara. Come on, Charlie, dear, we're your friends. We'll always be here for you. Thanks, Harry. Yeah. Son, <laughs> we came to wish you good luck before your operation. And you will come through with flying colors, like all our stitches. <laughs> and why? Because it's tradition. <laughs> now, where would we be without our tradition? Hey, uh... Stop it. Stop it. It's, it's, it's over. Uh, uh, son, uh, you know what you're saying. It, it's the anesthesia, you know. Take a hint, Ham Bones. The show's closing out of town. You mean that they, they, they are... Oh, you know that we... Well, I... We'll send you the bill. Right, I'll give it to my accountant. Okay. Here we go. You ready? I'm ready. All right, Charles. Get over there. Easy, easy. Not so fast. There you go. There you go. There you go. Oh, ah, uh, one more thing. Here's my will. Your will? Dr. Callahan. Dr. 
Charlie, this is all my stuff you're giving away. Oh. Hi, Westons. You took care of the deets during his hour of need, and now it's payback time. Charlie, come on. You didn't have to do that. Hey, I'm sorry I didn't get these to you sooner, but it took a few weeks to find just the right gifts to show my appreciation. Harry? Charlie, come on. Ah, you so. Ooh. Oh. A plastic pitcher from the hospital. You're going to want to wash that. Barbara? Oh. Another plastic pitcher from the hospital. That one you're going to want to boil. Carol. Oh. Oh, Charlie, what unusual earrings. Thank you. They're my tonsils. I had them bronze. Oh, my God, Daddy! Charlie, get out! 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 All right, all right, all right, all right, all right, all right. Hey, it's Mr. Patrick. I love Mr. Patrick. <laughs> Shalom, Deach. All right, Westons, the party's over. Mr. Patrick, we've been through all this. You wanted proof? I got you proof. Please, please, Mr. Patrick. Here they are, his puppies. Mr. Patrick, I've had it with you. I've had it with you. This proves nothing. Those puppies could be anybody's. <laughs> well, it could be a fluke. <laughs> Come on, we... <laughs> All right, so a couple of flukes. <laughs> Dreyfus, is there something you want to tell me? 